What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Alex and I basically just share videos about my life. Um, right now I'm sharing about my pregnancy and yeah, that's um, basically it. Um, today I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I'm 20 weeks now, so this is my 20 week update. And so I figured instead of just sitting here and talking, I would do my makeup since I never do it and we're quarantined right now. So well, self quarantined and um, kind of give me something to do. So disclaimer, I haven't done my makeup in a long time. I don't do it very often, but yeah. I also typically don't, even when I do here lately, don't do face makeup. So. I'm gonna do that today, so let's just hope it doesn't look horrible, and if it does, just please be nice. <laughs> so, I'm 20 weeks now, and actually 20 weeks and a few days, I believe. I turn a week every Saturday, and today is Wednesday, so I'm like getting there. 20 weeks and four days um yeah so let's just work on my face so that it looks a little bit better as we go um clearly i have had some major breakouts this is probably the most i have ever broken out in my life <laughs> so that's fun and i'm using a new sponge today for my foundation it's a Sephora brand, and it says to use it dry, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation. I honestly need to get a new one, and this one is in fairly light beige, and it is a little bit too dark for me, so hopefully it just doesn't look too horrible, but we're going with it. Um, so, 20 weeks. Some of the symptoms I've been having lately, I guess you can call them symptoms, I don't know. <laughs> Some of the things, like how I've been feeling lately, um, I have definitely been dealing with some constipation, which is not fun. I feel like um, with my pregnancy with Asher though, it wasn't as bad. Um, or it was, was worse. Yeah, I had it a lot more earlier on and this time I don't, it's just now starting to get bad. Um, I don't know how I feel about this sponge. I feel like it's just picking up my product and keeping it, but. The last few times that I've done my foundation, I've just used my fingers. And I think that's what I'm going to switch to doing because I feel like this is taking all of the makeup off of my face. So we're just gonna rub that in. Um so yeah, I've been constipated. Very glorious, you know. The super sweet side of pregnancy. <laughs> Um, so that's fun, not really, but, um, I definitely think my diet has a lot to do with it because I have been eating more dairy and meat, um, and I know that typically doesn't agree with my body the best. I'm sorry, this mirror really sucks to use, but I don't have anything, I don't have a better setup. So I am sure diet is part of it. I also need to like move a little bit more. I definitely haven't been as active as I would like to be or should be, but we're working on it. <laughs> also back pain is starting to be pretty consistent now. Um, I definitely can't stay in the same position for a long time. I've been starting to feel like a, 
like the circulation cut off when I sit in certain positions like through my legs and my feet um, or if I stand up for too long as well also if I stand up for too long I have found that I get pretty lightheaded so too long as in like an hour and a half to two hours I just get really lightheaded for some reason which sucks because <laughs> it makes you know getting things done a lot harder but yeah I am trying my best to stay super hydrated but this pregnancy I have craved a lot of soda and um, coffee so obviously that is going to kind of counteract me staying hydrated but I don't allow myself to have very much um, I definitely try to stick to the one to two um, things of caffeine a day, basically. Um, and other than that, I really just drink water or like orange juice. Um, I honestly can't really tell if I've gotten all my face. My under eyes are pretty bad right now. I could definitely probably benefit from a brightening under eye cream. Um, I'll just do my neck. I am not going to do any concealer or anything because I just don't want it to be super heavy on my face. I mean, I'm not going anywhere <laughs> or anything like that, but I just wanted to kind of have something to neutralize my face since it is breaking out so much and just see what it looks like to wear some foundation again see if i can still look decent with foundation on because it's been so long um anyways i have braxton hicks very rarely it'll happen like once every few weeks or so um so that's not something that happens very often, but a lot more than it ever did with Asher. I don't think I had Braxton Hicks at all with him. So hopefully that's blended enough on my neck. I can just tell that it really doesn't match my skin color that much, which is why I typically don't wear a foundation because I feel like it's incredibly hard to find any foundation that actually matches my skin tone. I have noticed though that my balance has been starting to be kind of off and I'm assuming that's like my equilibrium with the baby getting bigger like my body is just starting to shift I don't know I could be wrong and crazy and just coming up with things but. throughout this second trimester though I've definitely noticed I've been less tired which is great because if you have kids and you're pregnant, basically pregnant as a mom, you know, you need that energy um, to be able to keep up with them and everything else that you have going on. So, and even if you don't have kids, you still need that energy for everything else because I know just how much it sucks to be that tired. Um, I was pretty tired when I was pregnant with Asher as well. Um, but... I have definitely found this second trimester, thankfully, to, like, free up some of that tiredness. I've been more energized. I think it also helps, too, that it's getting warmer outside and it's not so cold. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. like under eye powder. It's just in sheer. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> How long has it been since you've done your makeup? A while. Last time we went on a date. But oh, wow. I didn't do my whole face. And I just did foundation. Do you know about the 
play fucking Zelda. I'm thinking about Overwatch, actually. Good. You make me too jealous playing Zelda. <laughs> Obviously, I'm starting to get to the point where I feel like I'm more out of breath doing things, so that's kind of fun. Um, also, I get this weird thing in my fingers where it feels like they're like stuck and like I have to bend them or like I don't know I just get this really weird feeling in my fingers and I had this with Asher as well um and so that's kind of weird but and that's really hard to describe but I've only noticed it when I'm pregnant and yeah so also I have noticed though when I do yoga and stretch a lot it makes a pretty big difference in like how my body is feeling overall obviously my mind too with all of this stuff going on as well um Getting outside and getting fresh air has been super great though, too, along those lines. Um, and just moving my body as much as I can. Um, we're also at a point with everything going on that we're considering home birth. So that's kind of just on the table right now to look into talk to my midwife and just kind of see how things go with um, how long this virus is going to be as bad as it is because I am due in August and I think there is some possibilities that it may still be I don't know, around, I don't know how long it'll all last, but I personally am not that comfortable with delivering in a hospital because the birth center we want to deliver at is in the hospital. And if there are going to be a lot of sick people there, it just doesn't make sense really. Plus there's the downside of me not being able to be yeah, um, I've definitely been hearing a lot of hospitals during this time won't allow the like your support person there or um, will only allow one support person. And obviously there's the case where if the baby has the sickness or you have it and you being quarantined away from your kid. And so we stay home we probably won't get sick I feel like so I feel like it eliminates that risk um, and then obviously I can have who I want here and I don't know kind of go from there but uh, that's definitely an option right now that we're gonna be looking into um, but that's kind of just a Something we're going to talk to our midwife about and wait and see kind of thing, but also be prepared. Um, I think that's all I really have to say on that topic. It's definitely, everything going on has definitely been a bit nerve-wracking to be happening while being pregnant. But there's not really a whole lot we can do about that, so. Um... I am considering looking into like some hypnobirthing, like learning about that, um, and maybe getting some books on that. Maybe watch some videos, something along the lines of that, because I do want to try to not have an epidural or anything along those lines. And I have heard really good things about hypnobirthing, and even if um, you don't actually use hypnobirthing while you're in labor. I've heard that even learning about it and practicing it while you're pregnant can help through your labor. So that's 
that's definitely a consideration right now. Two, I just have to look more into it. Um, and then obviously we're at the point where we can find out the gender and go to our anatomy scan, our 20 week ultrasound. And we were actually supposed to have that this week on Monday. And um, we were all three planning on going with Asher, but when we got to the hospital, they said no kids. So we rescheduled and we're going to get that done next week, be a bit more pre ugh, prepared. And um, yeah, you guys will know more about that though when you see that video because I will be vlogging that day and we will find out the gender of the baby. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it though. And so I'm just going to do my eyeshadow and be done with this. Um, so I'm gonna use the 35W Worm Palette by Morphe. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this yet. So that is it. This is just my final look. I'm not going to do any lipstick or anything like that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you decide to subscribe and stick around for more. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.